WBS is an important part in project management. Okay, so you should um, be able to use this WBS in your project. Okay, so what is work breakdown structure? WBS is used for defining work, okay, work packages and developing and tracking the cost and schedule for a project. Okay, meaning that you use this WBS to define your work, what you are going to do, okay, and how you are going to develop, okay, the schedule and so on, and tracking the cost, especially the cost of the project, okay. By using WBS, you will break, be breaking the project into individual components, okay, small components in a hierarchical structure. Okay, meaning that the most important thing in WBS is the hierarchical structure. There is a hierarchy okay, in the uh, structure of WBS. Okay. Exa for example, into phases, into deliverables and work packages. Okay, so we'll discuss that later. Okay, this is the overall view of what is WBS. Okay, and commonly used at the beginning of a project. Okay, for defining project scope, okay, organizing gun schedules and estimating costs. Okay, that is the important part in WBS. Okay, the PMBOK, okay, project management body of knowledge defines the work breakdown structure as a deliverable oriented hierarchical decomposition of the work to be executed by the project team. Okay, meaning that okay, we divide the works okay that had to be done into a hierarchical structure okay and to be executed okay by each of the project members okay and the management okay so an easy way to think about a work breakdown structure is an outline or a map okay of the specific project okay we are going to map okay the project. Uh, for example, in our seminar, okay, we are going to do a seminar. Okay, how are we going to map the specific tasks in the project? How are we going to divide the tasks uh, um, between the team? Okay, and uh, a WBS starts with pro the project as the top level deliverable and is further decomposed into sub deliverables. Meaning that, okay, first we have the main the main uh, project okay what is the project okay, then what we are going to do in the project okay then we divide okay who is going to do what what is to be done uh, during the project okay not only by the team but what is included in the project and it is always okay wbs is always presented in three structure what we call three structure okay so this is the, street, the example of street structure, okay? So, it's a map's full range of paths and tasks that needed to be accomplished in order to achieve a primary goal and related sub-goals, okay? So, this would be the main goal, okay? That is the project, okay? Then we divide the project into sub-categories, sub-phases, okay? Okay, this is an example of street structure. Okay, you can see in construct. Okay, in here we are going to construct a house. Okay, we are going to build a house. Okay, so in building a house, what is involved in building a house? Okay, first maybe an internal. Okay, internal something to do with electrical in the house. Okay, whatever in inside the house, we we divide it into a category. And then the foundation, okay? What involved in the foundation? And then what involved in external, external of the house? Okay, maybe you want to do a landscape project outside the house and so on, okay? So this is an example of a tree structure, okay? Okay, so there are levels, level one, level two, and level three, okay? That we'll discuss later. Okay, so if WBS focus on level of tasks and level of details, okay? As you can see just now in the construction of a house, okay? The first level would be the construction of a house. That's the main level. And then we have 
the blue one level 2 is the internal foundation and external okay that's the second level okay then we break down the level into the green one level 3 will be the electrical excavate and machinery work okay so the levels okay from big is hierarchical main okay the 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 big uh, focus of the project and then we go to the smaller levels in each level there will be a task manager okay task manager who is responsible for the execution of the project plans okay for that element okay meaning that internal for internal there will be a project manager okay task manager sorry task manager okay in foundation a task manager and external a task manager the responsibility for each level lies on the task manager okay so it is the responsibility of the task manager for each level so a work package at the activity level is a task that okay when a project manager or a task manager think of the activity in within a level uh, he or she should think of a realistically and confidently estimated uh, activity okay so it must be realistic in each level you must estimate something that can be realistically done okay and then you can confidently estimate the cost of that level okay so the the amount of the cost must be realistic okay and then makes no sense practically to break down any further okay meaning that if it, let's say uh, you um, uh, estimate 10 ringgit for the uh, lunch okay so can you break down the cost further okay meaning that if you say okay lunch 10 ringgit you will get uh, one plate of nasi and then one chicken okay one chicken one uh, vegetables a portion of uh, vegetables and you will get desserts or fruits okay can you still okay uh, is there any leftovers of the 10 ringgit okay uh, when you divide it into the uh, lunch package if no then it's okay but if you can still okay the 10 ringgit you have extra 2 ringgit that you don't know what to do with it so it, it, it is not practical like, then you can reduce the cost to 8 ringgit okay so and it can be completed in accordance with one of the heuristic defined above okay so it can be completed meaning that if the cost is 10 ringgit so uh, you will be able to get 10 ringgit per person okay from your sponsors from your um, uh, financial wherever you get it okay so you must okay it can be completed okay if you order 10 ringgit but you cannot uh, pay the vendor okay so there's no use okay it cannot be completed according uh, according to what you have planned in the above okay so and it produces a deliverable which is measurable okay you must uh, it can be measured okay okay the deliverable must be measurable okay so and it forms a unique package of work okay this is important forms a unique package of work which can be outsourced or contracted out okay meaning that okay in your seminar you are going to have a seminar okay so can you when you make a break wbs work breakdown structure can you if for example Gerard okay Gerard is not here during the event if he's not here can replace his place and do the work without him so the WBS will form that unique package so that there will be a replacement of somebody or any events that happen during the uh, uh, the seminar okay that uh, people can replace okay meaning that it can be outsourced or, or contracted out or whatsoever okay so uh, the best way to adhere to the 100% rules is to define WBS elements in terms of outcomes or result not action not what we are going to do but what are the outcomes that we expected from 
the seminar. Okay. So this also ensures that the WBS is not overly prescriptive of methods. Okay. We don't prescribe the methods, allowing for greater ingenuity and creative thinking on the parts of the project management and participants. Okay, you need to be creative. Okay, in managing your levels. Okay, okay. So these are the levels. Okay, uh, in WBS. Okay, for example, we have a project. Okay, the project will be the WBS level one. Okay, and then for example, this will be uh, something to do with uh, networking or computer or something like that. Okay, so level two will be hardware, software. System engineer, project management, system testing, data management. Okay, that is the big part in the project. And then level three can be two, uh, two sub levels. Okay, and then we have level four, and then to the small small parts. Okay, so this is the WBS. Okay, the overall picture of WBS. So you can put whatever project you have there and what are the levels included in level 2 what are the uh, phases in level 2 level 3 and level 4 okay you must consider the guidelines okay these following guidelines when creating a work breakdown structure okay the top level okay there okay the project the top level represent the final deliverable of project Okay, so you replace the project as your seminar. Okay, that is the final deliverable, what you want to achieve. And then, sub deliverables contain work packages that are assigned to an organization's department or unit or individual. Okay, so sub deliverables will be your task, maybe whatever you want to do in the seminar okay so then all elements of the work breakdown structure don't need to be defined to the same level okay so you must know which level should be the uh, level two okay what is the most important thing okay and then what sometimes you must remember that okay the most important thing must not be um, finished earlier it can be finished later okay something we need to finish earlier for example in your seminar uh, hanim will have to do the uh, letters send the letters to uh, keynotes and uh, other people so it must be finished earlier so it might be in level uh, 2 because you want, want to finish it earlier okay you want to see the outcome whether the keynote speakers agree to come to your seminar or not Okay, so uh, you must know which one you need to be, uh, which uh, phase need, need to be prioritized. Okay, the work package defines the work duration and cost for the task required to produce the sub deliverable. Okay, meaning that uh, you must define. Okay, the package defines the work. One package. Okay, level two hardware one point one. Okay, that is the package. Okay, under hardware, okay, what are other packages included in the hardware? Okay. You must also consider work packages should not exceed 10 days of duration. Uh, that is important. Okay, in your seminar, one task, I think is already more than 10 days. Okay, but you must consider the time. Okay, time in conducting a task. Okay, task or packages. Okay, for example, the person who's going to um, uh, find the vendor for uh, food, for example. Okay, how is she or he going to uh, manage the time? Okay, uh, make sure that they uh, can deliver the food in time on time. Okay. Uh, 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 the food is quality food for example and the requirement our requirement in the seminar can be um, met okay so so the work although it says here 
10 days not at seed 10 days but it also depends on your uh, project okay work packages should be independent of other work packages in the work breakdown structure okay so meaning that okay should be in independent should be independent so meaning that if you are organizing food it should be independent by you okay it, it must be done independently okay so work packages are unique and should not be duplicated across the work breakdown structure so if you are organizing the food so there's no other food part in other packages okay meaning that if we, we go if you have food this is food for example so there's no uh, there shouldn't be food here okay drinking for example break tea break here okay the food all about the food will be here only okay no duplicate in other parts other packages okay benefits of wbs work breakdown structure there are benefits of uh, wbs okay okay so it helps you to define okay define and organize your project okay so how are you going to organize okay define what to do okay i, I, I understand that you already um uh, did meetings okay you have met and uh, try to um uh, divide the task between you but maybe okay yeah in between the meetings you found that uh, uh overlap you don't know who is going to do this okay okay maybe uh her name is uh, the secretary okay but uh, uh maybe uh law allow assume that uh her name will do that that, that task but her name she herself she doesn't know that she's she has to do that that task so it is quite hard okay when you assume something other people assume something so this wbs will help you okay her name what are her tasks to do okay lao what is her task okay so so you can define and organize your work okay so a project budget can be allowed based on each project's work breakdown structure okay meaning that uh, we back to food okay we have food one food package so we can uh, divide the cost to food okay stationaries okay who handle the stationaries for example uh, stationaries for the uh, participants okay who is going to handle okay how much money okay stationery we can divide to smaller stationeries pencils pen are you going to give, give uh, extra stationeries for them and so on okay so uh, from wbs we can uh, estimate or allocate um, the amount of money for each packages okay and wbs can be used to identify potential risk okay in a given project okay what are the risks in your seminar no participants <laughs> okay so how are you going to um uh, avoid okay how are you going to make sure that there are participants in your seminar less, less, um, less fee free how about free <laughs> 10 ringgit for us stu for students or maybe they can enroll as groups maybe uh, so we can reduce the price but i think that when you want to attract students to join the seminar there must be uh, something that catch their eyes to join okay i think that regular seminar okay there are lots of seminars okay in the country okay and some of them are free so how are you going to attract student teachers we are we are looking at student teachers okay student teachers free service teachers to join our seminar so what are the things that would catch their eyes to join the seminar it must be something different something creative 
I think WBS can help you uh, to uh, justify okay, what is the uniqueness, uh, give you the solution okay, on uh, what to do okay, uh, to, to avoid the risk of there's no participant of the seminar. Okay, so maybe you can think of something that you know uh, for promotion. Okay, in the breakdown structure, you have one uh, package of promotion. Okay, somebody will have to do deal with the promotion. So how is he or she will deal the will deal with promotion? Okay, how is she or he going to promote? Okay, the promotion is very important, and you should start now. Okay, start as soon as possible. Okay, um, and for example, you have uh, we have uh, lecturers for IPTS here in here. So, what are you going to do to attract IPTS students to come to our seminar? Uh, you must think of that. Okay, because I think IPTS students they have more money than uh, student teachers in IPG. Okay, so. How, how are you going to attract them? I think because, okay, in my opinion, because this, this seminar is a unique seminar, okay, because it is conducted by students, okay, and we have new technologies to be introduced in the seminar, okay, so the promotion package should look at how uh, other people outside uh, promote their technology, new technology, new devices, uh, so that people will be interested to join. Okay, so yeah, we'll de discuss that later. Okay, but uh, the promotion part is very important. It is a package in the WBS. Okay, so when uh, the promotion, the, the the promotion is a package. So there's no other promotion in other packages. Okay, no. Uh, promotion in food part, no promotion in uh, the secretarial part, and so on. Only in the promotion, okay. So in only in one level, okay. If a work breakdown structure has a branch that is not well defined, then it represents a scope definition risk, okay. So, for example, um, uh, Hanem said just now, okay, the risk is there's no participants, okay. So. It, it must okay the, the that's mean that okay the risk is no participant that's that must be something is not uh, the, that you all do not define well in the scope of participants okay how are you going to make sure that the participants are there okay maybe you must con contact some uh, for example, you want uh, the students in uh, School of Educational Studies from here, okay, undergrad students. So you must approach um, the deans, okay, maybe ask them to uh, ask him to uh, provide some uh, money, okay, to pay for the registration fees, for example. So the promotion part must go and see, okay, so you must go and see the deans. To ensure that, okay, uh, uh, Prof, can you please uh, uh, sponsor 20 students uh, for the seminar? Okay, so he said, okay, uh, I'll try. Okay, or he could assign you back. Okay, you can, okay, this is an activity, new activity for students. Okay, we have uh, the BGM grant, for example. Okay, BG grant, they have ad hoc grant for events okay that um, uh, to help community to have the advancement of technology for the community so why not you apply for grant the grant can be um, approved in three days okay in three days so why not you uh, apply for a grant students can apply for a grant okay and you can apply the grant for to sponsor students too uh, join the seminar. Okay, uh, this is a new news for you, but yes, you you can do that. Okay, here in USM. Okay, so that is how we solve a problem. Okay, we define and then we try to solve the problem uh, and give ways. Give uh, um, how are we going to solve the problem?
Okay, and then we identify communication points and formulate a communication plans across the project organization. Okay, so identify, identify communication points. Okay, each package. Okay, although it is uh, it is a stand alone package, they must communicate between the packages. That is important. Okay. WBS is a critical tool for organizing work. Okay, so very critical. You want to organize your work, okay, and you want to build realistic schedules, okay, and cost estimates, and you want to report and track and control. So, WBS will help you. Okay, so you can use WBS for big projects or small projects. Anything you can use it. Okay. During WBS de development, the structure should be designed with sufficient flexibility. Okay, you must remember you need to be flexible. Okay, not too strict. Okay, so that future activities, uh, elimination of work scope and addition of work scope can be easily accommodate. Meaning that if you want to add something in the seminar, you can easily add or if you want to discard the workshop part in your seminar you can discard it okay uh, meaning that okay you, when you discard the workshop that the seminar still can be uh, on okay with no problem okay so uh, for example you you uh, you plan to have a workshop okay and i'll be the uh, i'll be doing the workshop okay but i have emergencies i cannot do the workshop that day Okay, and we have to cancel. So there will be no uh, problem in cancelling the workshop. Okay, if no other person can replace me, okay, you uh, you can uh, uh, cancel the workshop and do something else. Okay, so it will be flexible, meaning that maybe the participant can be jo can join other groups and so on. Okay. So we can. Uh, this is an example, okay, for WBS product. We are going to uh, build a bicycle. Okay, so this is WBS for a bicycle. You are going to uh, build a bicycle, okay? Bicycle level one is bicycle, okay? The end product will be a bicycle, okay? So what we are going to do? When we want to build a, a bicycle, what do we need? Okay, for example, in a bicycle in level two, in bicycle they ha it has frame set, okay, then crank set, wheels, braking system, shifting system, integration, project management, okay. The project management will not be the bicycle itself, but how you are going to assemble and so on. So. Here you can see 15, 5, 30, 5, 5, 35, 5. Okay. This show the importance of the part, each part of the bicycle. So the frame set is important, 15. Crank set, not that important. Okay, only 5. Wheels, okay. The wheels is very, very important. Okay, so we, we give 30 marks for that. Okay, brake. Okay, not so important. If there's no brake, you can still use your legs to, you know, stop the bicycle. Okay, shifting system, integration. It is important. Okay, you need to integrate the bicycle. So it's thirty-five. Then project management. Then the total will be hundred. So hundred here, and hundred here. Okay. So from the bicycle, the uh, the. Uh, 1.1, 1.2, and so on. Okay, 15 we divide into okay frame set. What included in the frame set? Okay, we have frame, handlebar, fork, seat. Okay, and so on. Okay, we divide that into smaller parts. Okay, then and then this one will be this one, and 35 we break into the smaller parts. Okay, so this part is how we are going to build a bicycle. So we divide it. Okay, this is a then at the end of the project we are going to produce a bicycle. Okay, so this is 
actually a simple in a simple way to see the WBS. Okay, how we are going to divide and uh, what part uh, to, to select which part is important in a bicycle, in an event or in a project. Okay. A software and hardware system develop, development project. Okay, this one based on the, the uh, example that I gave just now. Okay, so it is a project A, level one. Okay, and level two will be project management. Okay, you must remember project management should be included, always be include, included in the WBS must have project management. Okay, who is going to manage all things? Okay, what are the things that are important? Okay, planning, cost, schedule, scope management, task management, and all that. So, project management will be uh, uh, an important part. Okay, if we go back to the bicycle just now, project management is only 5%. Okay, because we are going to build a bicycle, we don't have to like. Uh, put uh, estimate the cost of uh, building a bicycle. Okay, it's not. We are going to just produce a bicycle. Okay, but compared to this one, it is a big project. Okay, so we must have the important part is the project management, and then we have the system engineering, software design. Who is what involved in software design? What involved in software build? Okay, we have. Uh, sorry, we have software and then under software, we divide into some other categories. Okay, so this one is quite relevant to your seminar. Okay, so organizing a uh, banquet. Okay, so when you see, this is the event. Okay, okay, so if you replace this into a seminar, okay, so Planning and supervision. You have planning, budget, uh, di disbursement, and then coordination. Okay, so one person will supervise this part. Okay, this package we call it a package. Okay, dinner. Okay, we have lunch. So, what is the uh, consists in the uh, lunch menu, shopping list, shopping or anything that involve the lunch. Lunch. Uh, breakfast, tea break, and so on. Okay, room and equipment. Okay, have you think of room and equipment? Okay, you have think of, about the location. Okay, the location will be in Dewan Budaya. Okay, and then uh, but you haven't think of the equipments that involve yet. Okay, but you must think about it. Okay, who is going to handle the equipment? Who you have to contact to get the equipments? Okay, um, who who will be uh, managing the video, the audio, and so on during the seminar? Okay, you must think of that. So, this, okay, you must put audio, video, computer, LCD, whatsoever, under the room and equipment. Okay, so the list will be longer than this one. Okay, and then guests. Okay, you have think of the guests. Okay, uh, VC. Okay, deans and so on. Okay, how about other guests? Okay, uh, for example, we are going to uh, uh, you from Inti College, from Job Street, and so on. Okay, so how are you going to accommodate them? Okay, for example, if Job Street, maybe they are from KL, are you going to have to uh, book rooms, hotel rooms, or where are you going to locate them? Then so on. So you must have that list under here. Okay, staff. Okay, you are the uh, committee, but the staff that will be doing the work. Okay, you, uh, you uh, last time you mentioned about students. Okay, you are going to uh, get student helpers. So, which student helpers from where? Okay, how many do you? Okay, for for example, student helpers in organizing the event itself. Okay, during the event, you need student helpers to help. Uh, to uh, show participants where to go, okay. After the session one, okay, they have to go somewhere, or they, 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 we have tea break, so we need student helpers to show uh, the participant where to go. And the guests, uh, the guests will not be uh, eating same as the same in the same place as the participants. So 
students help us to show the guests where to go and what is the next event after that. So it is under here. Okay, shoppers. Shoppers, for example, uh, maybe uh, the uh, student helpers or cleaning, okay, managing and so on. Okay, and speakers. Okay, who's going to invite? Transport, coordinate topics, okay, and so on. So, this is the package. So, who is going to manage the package for the speakers? Okay, so this is the how you are going to organize your WBS for the for your seminar. Okay, so it will help you to define, okay, define the scope of work, the outcomes that you plan, uh, the outcomes of the event. Each package have the outcomes, uh, their own outcomes, meaning that speakers. Okay, what are the outcomes of the speakers? Okay, you, you invite, you are going to invite um, Prof Karim, for example. So, uh, what is the outcomes? Okay, whether the Prof Karim will be attended or not. Okay, so what uh, is he, uh, whether he requests something? Okay, request you to uh, bring something, some uh, special equipments and so on. So, you must put it there. Okay. Okay, CPM in WBS. Okay, what is CPM? CPM is critical path method. Okay, you can refer to the website there. Okay, and you can download this uh, uh, PowerPoint in the e-learning. Okay. So, CPM is a deterministic method that uses a fixed time estimate for each activity. Okay? There are fixed time for each activity. Okay? So, while CPM is easy to understand, it is easy, really easy to understand and use, it does not consider the time variation okay? that can have a great impact on the completion time of a complex project. Okay, so it does not consider time variation. So the time is fixed. Okay, so in your project, CPM is quite suitable because you have limit, limited time. You have the time schedule. Okay, you have to follow the time, fixed time. Okay, by this time you need to finish this. By this time you need to finish that. And by July, you need, fin you need to finish all the tasks and the seminar will be held. Okay. So, CPM will determine what uh, in uh, uh, during uh, the time frame for each packages. Okay, steps in CPM project planning. Okay, first you need to specify the individual activity. Okay, in WBS you already specified. Okay, there's individual activities. Okay, and then you need to determine the sequence of those activities. Okay. Which is when? Which is the important? First promotion, second what? Third what? Fourth what? Okay, and then draw a network diagram. Okay, you need a diagram. Okay, then you need to estimate the completion time for each activity. This is the important part. Okay, estimate the completion time for each activity. Identify the critical paths. Okay, longest path through the network. Okay, the longest path through the network. What is the longest path? You are going to get the participant. And update the CPN diagram as the project progresses. So you must update. Okay, okay. Uh, paperwork done. Okay, contact keywords done. So, key, 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 keynotes done. So you have to um, delete. So when you specify, from the breakdown structure, a listing can be made. Okay, make a list. Okay, of all activities in the project. Okay, this listing can be used as the basis for adding sequence and duration information in later steps. Okay, so important. Determine the sequence of the activities. Okay, this is important. Like I said just now, promotion. Okay, a paperwork need to be done earlier. Okay? What are the sequence in the activity? Okay, what to be done first? What to be done next? And so on. Okay? 
a listing of the immediate predecessors of each activity is useful. Okay, immediate. Okay, what do the uh, do, uh, need to be done immediately? Okay, draw the net network diagram. Okay, I think this is the task of the bosses here, two bosses here. Okay, you need to draw a diagram. Okay, and then once the activities and their sequencing have been defined, the CPM diagram can be drawn. Okay, estimate activity completion time. Like I said just now, you need to estimate. Okay, in your project, you need really, really need to estimate. We don't have time. We have only April, May, June, three months. Okay, and there are a lot to be done. Okay, and the time required to complete each activity can be estimated using past experience. I think some of you have past experience. Okay, and est the estimates of knowledgeable person. Okay, so I think most of you uh, uh, should know. Okay, the estimated time uh, in your packages. Okay. Identify the critical path. Okay, this is the important lah. Okay, what is the critical path? Okay, what is the longest duration? I think promotion is one of the critical path. Without promotion, because a promotion start from the beginning of the uh, planning of the seminar until the end of the seminar. Okay, you still need to promote. You still need to update. From my experience in conducting a conference, you know, in promo because I'm a website person, okay, so always you have to update, update and update the website. You have to do something else to promote the website and uh, so that people will know, okay. And the most important thing that your website is user friendly and easy access. For people who has no has no knowledge in using website, okay. If you want them to enroll you in your website, it must be user friendly, not complicated, not they have to do things next next. next. No, just straightforward. They send, finish. Okay, don't use complicated things to uh, you know ask uh, other people to uh, to do in your website. Okay, especially in seminar. Okay, and especially I, I think because our participants will be students from um, IPT, so uh, it will be that will be not a problem. Okay, but if our our uh, attendees will be teachers, then there will be problem. Okay, because teachers are not technology savvy. Some of them don't, don't, doesn't have email, and so on. So. I think students, pre-service teachers is okay, are okay, but not teachers. Okay, you must think of that. I, I think that in the seminar we also wanted uh, want uh, want uh, teachers to join. Okay, so the promotion part must promote the teachers. Okay, T teachers, you don't have to worry about money. Okay, because our our fees is not that much. Okay, fifty ringgit, right? Okay, so teachers can pay, and if yeah, I think there will be no problem for teachers to attend the uh, seminar. Okay, so in identifying the critical path, okay, you can divide into ES, EF, LF, and LS. Okay, first ES, earlier start time. The earliest time at which the activity can start given that is prediction activities must be completed first. Okay? It is the paperwork for example. You must start early and finish early. Earlier start time. Okay? And then EF earliest finish time equal to the earliest start time for the activity. Plus the time required to complete the activity. Okay, ES only earlier start time. EF early finish time. It start early, finish early. Okay, ES start early only. Okay, and then FLF latest finish time. 
Okay, the latest time at which the activity can be completed without delaying the project. For example, Hanem has to send the letters. It can be it can finish early. Okay, without delaying the project. Okay, and then LS letters start time. Okay, equal to the latest finish time minus the time required to complete the activity. Maybe uh, something to do with uh, uh, stationary, for example. You can start it late, later on. Okay, after you know, uh, you can buy it later on. Near, uh, like one week before the event is okay. Later start time. Okay, it won't delay the program or so on and so on. Okay. So, this is very important. ES, EF, LF and LS. Very important in WBS and CPM. Okay. And update CPM diagram. Okay. You must update. Okay. Well, uh, as the project progresses, the actual task completion time will be known and the network diagram can be updated to include the, the information. Update and update and update. What has been done, has has been done. What has not been done, and so on. Okay. What uh, problem that occurs during the uh, planning? Okay. Uh, you you expected to get five sponsors, but you get only four, and so on. So you must update. Okay. So lastly, misconception of W on WBS. Okay. WBS is not an exhaustive list of work. Okay, it is instead a comprehensive classification of project scope. Okay, we just classify, okay, packages. What we have to do one by one. Okay, a WBS is neither a project plan. Okay, we don't. Pro, uh, it is not a project plan. It is not a schedule, nor a chronological listing. Okay. It only specify what will be done, okay, and not how or when, okay. What to be done, okay. Just now the CPM, okay. CPM helps you to uh, specify the activity and the date when to complete. But WBS, we don't specify when, how, and when. Uh, to be done it just we just state uh, what to be done okay uh, food for example we need food we need uh, rooms and so on okay and a WBS is not an organization hierarchy although it may be used when assigning responsibility meaning that there's no hierarchy within um, the responsibility within the um, Organization, okay. There's no hierarchy, okay. Everybody is equal, but in assigning responsibility, yes, maybe, okay. For example, you are going to assign student helpers, so they will be in lower hierarchy of the organization.